you know, like thousands of the people that came before me that are descendants of me, who had originally been here, came before you. Oh, my mistake. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there, there were thousands of people, and on down the line to where there were worms, and there were flat worms. Tied to walls would show worm movies out of their penises into the air in apparent disgruntle and dismay. And it would be wadded up like a little girl would like wad up some tissue after she's blown her nose and looked in it in, in the horror, seeing little speckled pieces of blood in her snot. It was on that that rag that she had wadded up. And then she threw it away, knowing that that was her life in there. And that her life would never be the same. Because the world was divided up into four parts. There was the Magus, the Tutor, the Fancor, and the Doria. And the Doria and the Fancor were at war with the Tutor and the Fartals, who I haven't mentioned to this point. Because they were the fifth part, who were invisible. And they were all powerful. beyond the worms and beyond these men tied to the wall who would show worm movies out of their penises and who had originally been non-existent at all and they never knew how to make fireworks or ever rifles or even they never knew anybody from Saskatchewan and they didn't know how to dial on the telephone and they had these Volkswagen buses that they had designed like they were cathedrals of God and they had directed all of us, all of my relatives, the worms, and the man himself. They had traveled hundreds and thousands of miles. They had, when they came to the sea, they went under the sea and they talked to the fish. And see, when the fish travel in a line, there will be a little uh, dot in near their in, in rear end, and a string will come out. And I have made a kite before, and I have flown it out of the string that I got from the dots on fish's bottom ends. And I have flown it so high that I have been able to see the Etruscans, the Bolivians, the Artesians, and the Wallhawkers. 